Thank you, Ian, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, another important day for us and a big challenge against uh, the West Coast Eagles, and it has been a very big week in football, and uh, not just for our footy club. But uh, before I start, I just wanted to congratulate all of you, and there's a lot of familiar faces here, um, obviously not as many as we normally have, but to all of you who've, uh, who've proved yet again you love our footy club, regardless of what happens, uh, I commend you for being here and uh, you know, much appreciate your support. So before I begin, uh, I'd just like to acknowledge some really important people in the room. A couple have been already mentioned, but I want to do it again. From MCC uh, down here, a great friend of our club and a demon fanatic, Jane Nathan's here with uh, Verna Bicer, her guest. So Jane, uh, welcome to you. I got a call from uh, Paul Sheen during the week, a supportive call from Paul, and uh, you know how much we respect our relationship with MCC. So uh, thanks for being here. Uh, from the West Coast Eagles, uh, look, Ian's uh, introduced everybody, but Alan Kranzberg's here, the Chairman and uh, Deputy Chairman James McMahon and, of course, all the Directors. Now, I wanted to specifically talk to you guys because I know you've had a horror start to the season. You're, uh, you're zip too, and, uh, but I want you to hang in there. It'll turn, don't worry. So um, uh, I don't really expect your start's going to improve today, but good luck for the rest of the season, mate. So, uh, all right. Now, you'd also be uh, aware that we recently announced a, a significant partnership between Northern Territory and the Melbourne Footy Club. And I'm really pleased to welcome the Chief Executive of the Department of Sport and Recreation for the Northern Territory, Philip Leslie, who's down here. So welcome to you, Philip. We had a great lunch on Thursday um, and we're with the Minister as well. And we're really excited about our future together. And uh, thanks for your encouraging support about what we can achieve together in the next few years, Philip. And uh, it's, it's been good to meet you this week. And I want to acknowledge our match day partner today, Tyrrell's Wine, and uh, there's been plenty of the sponsors' product consumed this week. And uh, on Thursday, I entertained the Inner Sanctum members at my home, and uh, they had a few. And I dropped into our club lunch yesterday, and Steve Morris is over here. But uh, all of those guys were certainly doing their bit for Tyrrell's, and uh, I hope uh, all of you enjoy their, uh, their wines today. So thanks to Tyrrell's. And I want to um, especially warm welcome to uh, Jeff Freeman, who's here today, and his wife, Leslie. Now, you probably read this week that we're planning to invite Jeff to fill a casual vacancy for us on the board and become a director of the footy club in the very near future. Now, he's already got a taste of uh, the media pressure to expect this week, and uh, provided we can get the all clear from you, Leslie, uh, we'll be moving to appoint Jeff as, uh, as soon as we can. Jeff is a great Demon supporter. He's a significant foundation hero, and he's going to add great experience and, and enthusiasm to our board. He's got a particular expertise in strategic relationships, and we'll be using him to assist us uh, in all of our key relationships, and he'll certainly be a great addition to our board. So, Jeff, welcome, and uh, looking forward to working with you, mate. And as always, a sincere welcome to our major partners, Webjet and Opal, uh, and all their representatives here today. And both our major partners, and indeed Hertz, have uh, contacted us this week reaffirming their support, so that was really much appreciated as well. Okay, so on to some comments on our, uh, on our season start. And I'm not going to bore you with a lot of words or excuses or explanations or a rehash of this week's events. I'm just going to simply make some brief comments and some observations on our position. And to begin with, I want to acknowledge the way our club has responded this week. At all levels of our footy club, we have received amazing support. And yesterday we trained at our new ground at Gosh's Paddock for the first time, a significant step for us. And our new look Demon Army encouraged over 350 demons to turn up and show the players that they still have belief in them. And I know all of our players were extremely appreciative. And we received expressions of continued support and encouragement from many sources, from our corporate partners, many are here today, from our coterie group and from our Inner Sanctum members. And we received hundreds of emails, messages and calls, mostly supportive from our membership base. I know one of our legend members, Craig Robson, came all the way from Perth today and he's brought five friends with him to show his support. And I was at the training session yesterday and I met a guy who hadn't been to a Melbourne training session since 1964, but he felt it was really important that he was there yesterday. So in short, an overwhelming show of support for our club from those that care the most about it. And I think a really important uh, further piece of encouragement this week is when our young captain, Jack Grimes, stood up and signed a three-year contract with us. And I think he is one person who we know we can rely on, and his performance in the first two weeks of the season 
has been nothing short of exemplary and he's going to be a great part of our future and I, and I commend him. So what are we doing? Well, our club has had two bad losses, but more importantly, our club has fallen significantly short of expectations. This is not where anyone at the club, including our supporters, expected us to be. We will not accept where we are at. As a board, we will do whatever it takes to move our club forward towards success. Footy is an unforgiving game in a highly accountable industry, and everyone at our club takes responsibility for our current position. In due course, we will appoint a new CEO to take our club forward, who will provide fresh perspective, new ideas and new leadership. And in conjunction with that person, we will challenge every aspect of our footy club operations. We are determined to turn the club around for all of our members and supporters. And we will not back away from hard decisions and we will hold everyone, including ourselves, accountable. And I can assure you no one on our board is there because it looks good on a resume. The directors are all dedicated demons and we will continue to respect our role as elected representatives of our member base. Everyone in our footy club has a role to play to take this club forward. And in about an hour's time, it will be the players and coaches' turn to play theirs. And we are very much looking forward to their response. So I thank you for your continued support of our footy club and go Demons. Thank you.